Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So here's another deck profile for you guys today. So again, sorry I've been absent uh, for the past few days. It's been hectic, but I figured I'd get back on and just like quickly uh, catch up on my deck profile. So the next one I wanted to do is Thunder Dragon. So this is basically Titan Control now. Um, now the deck has seen a little bit of representation from time to time, but it's still like kind of like one of those decks that just have to be put on shelf for a while just because, you know, Colossus is banned. Honestly, they could have just put that card to one, but it is what it is. And hopefully with the new support, it'll definitely help this deck's consistency. But yeah, I still see some hidden potential within the deck. There's some pretty cool combos that you can do. Uh, I decided to work around my ratios once again and try some different techs. So anyway, I thought I'd just show you guys what I got this time around. So the main deck's still 40 cards, of course. And I think you guys are going to like what I have this time around. All right, so starting off with the main deck, got to play three copies of Thunder Dragon Roar. So basically when this card is discarded, you can add... Uh, um, one of your Thunder Dragon cards that is banished on your graveyard, you can add it back to your hand. And if this card is banished or sent from the field to the graveyard, you can special summon a Thunder Dragon monster from your deck in defense mode. So it's pretty good for extension and not a bad body, you know? So, yeah. Uh, three Dark. Um, you discard to search another copy of itself or if it's banished or sent from field to the grave, you can basically add any Thunder Dragon card from your deck to your hand. So this is going to be one of your main searchers. Uh, three Hawks. This is your Monster Reborn and your Magical Mallet. So definitely an amazing card to try running. And of course, it's not a Thunder Dragon deck without the OG Thunder Dragon. You definitely still want to run this at three since, you know, it's a good way to uh, get access to your Thunder Dragon monsters and, again, just build up your resources in your graveyard. Uh, two Thunder Dragon Matrix. Uh, the whole point is just to give your monsters a power boost, but I'm only running it at two because, simply because, again, Colossus is kind of um, banned. And I felt like there was no reason to run this at three anymore, so... Plus, I also needed to make room for some other cards that I wanted to play, so... I think two Matrix is more than enough, honestly. And, of course, one copy of Duo. So that's it for the main Thunder Dragons. So let's go ahead and move on. Alright, so for my side engines... I'm still running two copies of Aloof Lupine. Uh, this is one of your main normal summons, as well as this card. Two copies of Battery Man Solar. Uh, so honestly, I feel like these two are always going to be your main normal summons. The one is a Foolish Burial, one is a Gold Sarcophagus, and Battery Man Solar is just a good way to also make a token so you can link climb even better. So yeah, I think two and two is perfect. All right. I'm also running a small Chaos Engine. Uh, by that, I'm running two copies of Chaos Dragon Leviathan. I can't wait for the alternate arc. I think that card's going to be really cool. Uh, but yeah, two Chaos Dragon Leviathan. It's searchable with what one of the cards I have in store, so you'll see that in just a moment. Same thing with Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy at the end. It's just a body, and mainly just go into a couple rank 8 plays, so that's the whole reason I'm running these guys. And plus, Chaos Dragon Leviathan can also rip cards out of your opponent's hand, or pop cards on your opponent's side of the field, non-targeting, so definitely comes in clutch. Uh, for hand traps, I'm only running four hand traps, two Ash, and two copies of Dimension Shifter. Since Banishment is never really a hindrance with this deck, it's really good against the uh, Shadol matchups, uh, Spirals, you know, Salamangra, you definitely don't want them to get resources in the graveyard, so Dimension Shifter is just a good way just to, like, hinder them for a turn, and then from there you can essentially OTK them fairly easily. Alright, so now moving on from that, now we're moving on to spells. Uh, for spells, three Thunder Dragon Fusion, uh, can't really say much more than that, this card is just really good for Recursion. And the fact that you get your banished Thunder Dragon monsters back into your deck, that's really nice. And it also searches out your cards. Uh, three Lure Darkness, pretty broken with the uh, Thunder Dragon Roar and your uh, Thunder Dragon Dark. And it's just really good for draw power overall. Uh, two Instant Fusion, you know, pretty obvious. I'm actually running two copies of Melody of the Awakening Dragon. So this is generally how I get access to my Chaos Dragon Leviathan and Chaos Emperor Dragon. Since, you know, they have the matching stats that I need, 3,000 attack and above with 2,500 or less defense points. So, yeah. And the only one of one gold sarcophagus. Uh, for trap cards, I'm actually running three. I'm running two copies of Evenly Matched. Since this is a primarily a going second deck, I definitely like to break boards with this. And of course, the one copy of Macrocosmo. I feel like Macrocosmo is now a staple in this deck, so I would definitely recommend playing this. Since again, Banishment doesn't really hinder you by any means. In fact, Thunder Dragons want to be banished, so that way they can get their benefits off. All right. So that's it for the main deck, now moving on to the extra deck. Uh, extra deck is, uh... oh, hang on one second, okay. I'm running three copies of Thunder Dragon Titan. Again, this is basically a Titan control now, you, so whenever you discard a Thunder Dragon monster, you get to pop cards, and this is not once per turn, and he has protection, so 
can't technically be destroyed by battle card effects, but again, as long as you have the resources available to go for it. Uh, one Kiminari attack, you know, just again as an extender piece. A uh, thousand eyes restrict for smart removal. If I had millennium eyes restrict, I would run it, but I don't have it, sadly. So I got to do with what I got. For my rank gates, I'm running Harp Harbinger and um, my number 68. So definitely good ways just to like shut off certain decks. And like for spell heavy decks, number 38 is still really good. Um, also, I forgot to forgot to put out one more fusion monster. Actually, uh, you kind of have to run twin hit of Thunder Dragon now, simply because uh, you can actually summon this through Thunder Dragon Fusion, and then afterwards you can banish it with thun and one Thunder Dragon monster from your hand to bring out Titan for free. So, twin hit of Thunder Dragon is not bad. It's also a level eight monster, so you could also use this from uh, rank eights too. So I forgot to bring that out, so I apologize for that. Uh, for Link monsters, I'm running some Summer Summoner. Link Karibo, you know. Uh, one Gravity Controller. This card's actually pretty good. Uh, one BLS. And for my Link Force, I'm running Boral Sword for an OTK. Appaloosa for Negations. And Unchained Abomination, which actually has some nice interaction with Thunder Dragon Titan. So if you discard a card, you pop a card. This also pops a card whenever a card is popped. So, like, you get three pops. You can get however many pops with Thunder Dragon Titan. So, I'm like, yeah, the, the two have... A ridiculous uh, synergy together so like I, that's why I decided to run Unchained Abomination with this deck. Uh, side deck's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, to break boards I like to run three copies of uh, Moon Dragon Raw Sphere Mode. I think this card is really good this format. Uh, if you don't like this you can always run the Biru but I just like this one a little bit more. Uh, three Denko Seca you know for backward heavy strategies and in case if I miraculously never open up with it it is searchable with Thunder Dragon Fusion you just banish it. Surge out a Thunder Monster. Uh, three Shared Ride for any decks that are just crazy with Recursion. Shadals is one of those things. Um, Salamangrids is also one of those types of decks. Even uh, Spiral sometimes too, so yeah. Uh, triple Twin Twisters. And if I'm forced to go first at any given time, three copies of Lost Wind. So that's just my little personal tech right there. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will catch you guys again next time.